Hello, welcome to my video. This video will be on troubleshooting your Linux Mint uh, version 18. I thought that I should go over this with you to uh, let you know the troubleshooting methodology or methodology that you should use when you run into errors on your system. Um, these methodologies are in no way concrete or absolute. They're just guidelines that should help you when troubleshooting issues. So let's get started. I have um, created um, a simple list of about five or six items that you should keep in mind when you're troubleshooting your system for any errors that may occur. Um, like I say, they're just guidelines. They should help you out. They may seem redundant, silly, and obvious, but believe it or not, I've, I've used them throughout the years, and they do help you out in solving uh, basic errors and system issues. So let's start. The first thing that you want to do, or one of the things you want to do, is you want to be as specific as possible about what the problem is. So for number one, be specific. What exactly is the problem? Uh, saying your application doesn't work, or your computer doesn't work, or um, it just doesn't work, that's not going to be specific enough when, when, when you are looking for help. For help. So be specific as possible. Number two, another one that may be obvious. Uh, has it worked before? Is this a brand new install? Or is this an existing application that you've been using for a while? Number three, what has changed in your system? Before the errors occur, were there any upgrades, updates, or any changes made before the error happened? Um, that's always a good thing to observe and know. Number four, what errors are you seeing? Can you take a screenshot of the error? Okay, when it occurs, can you find the error in, the, in one of your logs? Um, can you save the error if it is a, um, an error that comes up? Can you save it as a, in a text file? That would always help for when you uh, want somebody to help you troubleshoot like help desk or someone in the forums. Getting the actual error and uh, printing it out is always good. If not, save a screenshot and then from the screenshot, type it into a text file and save that. How often are the errors happening? Is it happening uh, occasionally, constantly? or every once in a while. That helps out too to know that. And uh, number six, can you provide a date and time for when the error occurred? That's going to help out for when looking in logs and searching in logs. They'll know the date, the time to look for and search because a lot of these logs can have hundreds if not thousands of lines of data. So if we can pinpoint where the issue is occurring, that'll help us resolve this issue a lot quicker. Um, another thing is, is uh, use your search engine, your favorite search engine. Uh, Google it, DuckDuckGo, Bing, Yahoo, whatever you have. If you can um, type out the uh, error message, go to your favorite search engine and type it in see if other people have had the same or similar issue that may help you resolve the issue uh, looking for error for errors in logs that's another thing we can do uh, on Linux Mint 18 you can always check out your logs define your logs let's go down to the start uh, to the menu button left click on menu then we can go to system tools go to log file viewer left click on log file viewer you'll see your logs here um, you can start out with uh, system logs or D message logs that'll print out a lot of errors too um, you can look at depending on what it is if it's a kernel issue you can look at kernel logs 
or authentication logs. And the best thing to do when you want to search for an error is if you go to the recent log, you'll sometimes you'll see log, the, the system log, or the log, and then you'll see the log with a num dot one or a dot whatever number. The latest logs are usually the ones without a number. Okay? As you can see with this one, this is the latest one for June 30th, which is what it is today. Today is June 30th. The older logs will have numbers after them. As you can see, this one is from the 29th. Okay? So if this has just started occurring today, I would look under these logs. If it's been happening for the past day or so, I would probably go to the older logs. And then what you can do is you can save these logs. All right. And to save it, what I would do is I would go over to edit, left click on edit, select all, then go back to edit, left click on edit again, and select copy. Then I would minimize. Then I would open up a text editor. Let's go down to the menu button, left click on menu, go to favorites, go to your favorite text editor, left click on it, open it up, right click on the text editor, and choose paste. These are your logs, and then I will go ahead and save my logs to my desktop for easy reference. So you just left click on file, left click on save as, give it a or choose where you want to save it save it to the desktop and then I would just say log one or whatever you want to call it and I would save it as a text file saving it as a text file is uh, pretty uh, important I'll tell you why in just a second okay so it's saved and then what you want to do is if you know a basic keyword of what the log is is is, um, is reporting or what the error is reporting let's say uh, it's reporting um, this application keeps failing or it's failed so what you can do is do a keyword search for fail okay you come up here to search left click on find put in your search or your keyword search failed and then I would move it to the side a little bit and then click fine and it'll go to fail as you can see over here the first one that's failed is going to be highlighted in green and then the ones following after that are going to be highlighted in yellow and you just keep going until you find the one where where your failed uh, your failed error occurred or happened when you find that like right there, if that's the one that you're interested in, you might want to highlight it, copy and paste it to another text file, or copy and paste it and uh, send it into an email. That will help out a lot when troubleshooting issues. If you can get the exact time uh, and date that the error occurred, that'll help out the, pr the people who are trying to help you with this troubleshooting. And that's basically one good reason why you want to save any error logs or any logs to a text file so that you can copy and paste it and put it in the forums or put it in a help desk ticket or what have you. Another thing that may help is do, taking a screenshot of a uh, log that popped up. So let's just say as an error, this is my sound uh, uh, preference uh, menu. Um, let's say for instance, this is an error that popped up. Can you take a, a screenshot of the pop-up? That will also help out. And to take a screenshot in Linux Mint 18, you just go down to the menu button, left click on menu, and then you want to go to all programs. From all programs, you want to go to accessories. From accessories, you want to go to take a screenshot. Left click on that okay it'll grab the whole desktop it'll save it as a PNG file and you just say take a snapshot and it'll pop up 
eventually. There we go. And you, like I say, I usually save it to the desktop for easy, uh, for easy access. Give it a name, and then just click save. All right, and then you can double click on this right here, and this is your snapshot. And this right here, you can save and send it to an email to the help desk or not to the forums obviously because all that is text file but you can just click it and save for future reference and send it as an attachment or whatever to whoever is helping you alright those are some simple things that you can do you can also include your system information some basic information for uh, whoever is helping you out as well and as I've said in previous videos, you can just go down to your uh, menu button, left click on menu, go to favorites, go to system monitor, go over to the tab that says system, and this is your basic system information. You may or may not want to include this too when someone is helping you troubleshooting, like someone in the forums or someone uh, at a help desk issue. They may ask for basic system information so they'll know whether or not this is happening in similar systems. Okay? All right. Well, I hope that helps you out. Uh, that's just some basic things that you could do when uh, troubleshooting your system and when other people are helping you troubleshoot your system. Um, as always, if you, um, if you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, you can go to my website and that's just going to be at, let's say, it's going to be videotechstuff.com. That's my video. If you want to see more vid more tutorials, you just click on tutorials. That'll take you there and you can look in um, other videos. If you're interested in any service upgrades or any hardware or software upgrades, you can go to my web services uh, um, panel. Uh, if you want to download some software, you can go to my downloads uh, page or if you want to contact me. You can click on my contacts uh, uh, page or link. Um, you can either call or text me. If I don't pick up, please leave a message. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at this video, and uh, you have a good day.